What is up, kind ones? It is Horse, the king of the nutshot, and this is my daily vlog documenting my recovery of a CSF leak, a cerebral spinal fluid leak. There is fluid, cerebral spinal fluid that is in my head, goes down through my spine, comes back up while well, I have a leak in my spine. I'm leaking out that spinal fluid, so my brain was not fitting in my skull properly. Uh, I was sagging down. I was getting all these crazy symptoms. So you might be wondering why I'm not on here smashing my balls is because I'm in recovery. So I uh, went down to Duke University. I uh, got a patch, a blood patch, it's called, on my uh, on my spine a few months ago. I'm headed back down there uh, in basically Thanksgiving to have another procedure and kind of check on where I'm at with uh, my recovery. And I am being a very, very uh, patient horse right now because, man, it is fall outside. And fall is my favorite season to do stunts. Just get on a hoodie, get outside, go nasty, go wild. I, I think you, you, you're you 5% safer when you have a hoodie on, a sweatshirt on, doing stunts, but you're confidence wise you're like 45 percent more confident so i don't know i always feel like i just put a hoodie on and i uh, i pretty much have superpowers at that point doing stunts so i really really want to be out there doing stunts and i'm super motivated to get back to that point so i'm doing this vlog monday through friday i didn't vlog yesterday i, I didn't feel bad yesterday i felt just really really warm out worn out i uh, ran out of my typical energy drinks that i my healthy alternative energy drink stark energy that i drink and i can't get my refill until next week or i can but i that's when my my order comes in so i've had to do other sources of caffeine cold brew and and red bull and it, that that stuff just messes me up i don't feel good so at the end of the night i just completely crashed and so instead of coming down and doing a live vlog, I went and uh, went to bed with my wife. So tonight I wanted to go live. I'm trying to go live every Monday through Friday uh, to give you guys an update on my recovery. Uh, so if you're a horse fan, you're looking for stunts, you can kind of follow the behind the scenes. But then a lot of people were joining in because they are suffering from CSF leaks themselves or headaches. And uh, they're kind of want to see you and relate and go through the process with somebody else. So that's why I'm here. I could just shut my mouth and not talk about it, uh, you know, and just come back when I'm healthy. But some other people do that, like some big celebrities do that. I'm not a big celebrity, but some bigger celebrities do that because they're uh, in a fear that uh, nobody's going to want to work with them again. And they're not going to be, they're going to, you know, the reputa reputation is going to be ruined. And I, and, I, and I worry about that. I actually do worry about that a little bit. Uh, putting myself out there, showing an injury, showing my vulnerability, is that going to like stop anybody from working with me in the future? But I don't think it is because I, I'm fully confident that I'm going to get healthy again and get back. Um, having a leak in your spine sounds really crazy, which it is pretty crazy, but uh, uh, I've been healthy before in this process and I'm, I'm going to get back there this time so uh but it's been it has been driving me insane not doing stunts has been driving me absolutely insane and i got a reminder today i'm going to throw this image up this is this came up this happened five years ago i posted this uh i don't know if i posted it on instagram i think i originally posted on instagram it's my instagram uh photo my profile photo this was five years ago this is me I think the last time that I was on America's Got Talent afterwards, took this picture with Howard Stern. Uh, one of the coolest photos, moments, kind of the kind of, it kind of captures, I don't know, the whole AGT process in one picture for me. It doesn't show what I did, but for me, uh, just being able to have the support I got from all the judges, but especially the king of all media, Howard Stern. And then later I went on and did his radio show as a guest on his show. It was just mind blowing. It was the coolest thing, uh, almost ever. I mean, there's personal things that I would take over that in my life. Uh, you know, my marrying my wife and, and my kids being born and, you know, some, some special things with friends and stuff like that. But this as a, like, as dreams go as far as my 
kind of professional idiot career as a daredevil and the king of the nutshots, Howard Stern and meeting him and, and getting uh, kind of the praise I got from him on America's Got Talent and getting that recognition, almost the best thing ever. And I, and I, when I saw this picture today, what, what it really, it really got the juices flowing. And then I walked outside and it's like perfect stunt weather. And I was thinking about when I was on the Howard Stern show, uh, the radio show, and in between on the break, right before I was about to head out, um, Stern kind of called me over and he was talking to me and he, he really, he told me heart to heart, he said, you know, keep me up to date with what you're doing with your career. You know, he really believed me. He really wanted to see me go places and do things. And so I think about that. Like, so ultimately my goal moving forward with my career was basically I want to do something that I can take back to Howard Stern, get back on Howard Stern's satellite radio show and have him be proud of almost in like a fatherly way. Like he, he praised me. He, he gave me kind of almost like a platform to perform on and showed people who I was and that I could be entertaining and fully supported at a hundred percent and then let me on his radio show. So he, that was him in a, on a personal level, not on the radio, not on TV, not telling me um, that he was rooting for me. So my ultimate goal as a, stunt performer that's somebody that's trying to entertain people is to get back there and kind of show that I'm that I did it that I made him proud that I'm, I'm um and I so ultimately I want to get I'm I'm that's my goal I'm going to get back and at least give it one really good last shot to get back to that point where uh I can head back into his studio and um have a conversation with him and, and thank him in person again for everything he did before and be able to tell him that I never gave up and this was a hard road that I worked towards and, uh, you know, hopefully be able to entertain him one more time uh, on TV so that uh, we can, he can kind of relive the moments that we had before. So... Uh, so is you know, seeing the picture and going through these thoughts and feeling the weather outside, it was kind of like an emotional, emotional day for me. Um, because it's so hard when you're so passionate about something and you really, really want to do something and you just can't like, I, I almost feel I, cause I feel well enough that I could go out and do stunts like during, especially during the day I like I'm walking and, and actually I had a run today. I ran over to get uh, pick my daughter up from school because uh, I was late, so I was running there, and I felt fine. I felt a hundred percent. Now I'm like a little overweight and a little out of shape because I haven't been able to do anything physically. But like I feel so good. I feel like I could throw myself off a building. I feel like I could take in that shot and be fine. Uh, but at the same time, I went through all today and. I went for a walk. I went for like a couple mile walk and then I taught classes and I was like semi spotting some of the kids doing um, some what like learning how to do wall spins and I wasn't like lifting them up but I was kind of guiding their body and even that it's either that or the caffeine this like the extra crap that I've been putting in my body. Uh, I have headaches tonight. Back of my head hurting. Uh, don't feel great. Uh, and that's all I did today. So it's like, it's a really hard thing to deal with it because it, I feel like I could do anything I wanted and I really could go out and do anything I wanted, but I would just feel, I would, I would just have to deal with the consequences of doing that. Um, but it's frustrating to know that I feel like I could do it. I can't because that's what my restrictions tell me I can't. But then at the end of the day, if I, I know that if I did do those things that I would probably get symptoms and have to deal with the consequences of doing it so if i never get better like it's just if this is just how i'm going to be the rest of my life because they can't fully patch up where i'm leaking um then this is what i'll, I'll just go out and film stunts i'll i'll just suffer through uh the pain i'll suffer through the consequences but i must i have to 
for myself, for my family, for my fans, for everybody, try to get the hundred percent first over this next six months, year, whatever, how long it's going to take and then get back at it because, uh, I still, I don't really think it's realistic that I'll get back to a hundred percent. Um, because that's my mindset on things. Like I am, I do take care of my body in a, the way I eat and uh, the way I work out before it gets to the stunt. So I, I, I will get back to more in a way where I'm treating myself like a professional athlete and then doing these crazy stunts, um, preparing my body to do those stunts and not just, I'm not just gonna uh, be totally gluttonous and just not care about myself and then wreck my body on the side. That's not my mindset when I'm going in to do this stuff. So I think I'm going to get there. And I think the point I was trying to make is that it's, it's not easy emotionally, um, not being able to do what you love. Uh, but that's not everything to life. And if it was just everything to life, then I'd be doing stunts right now and I would just go and I'd probably kill myself trying to just go hard and do whatever and not care. But I care. I care about my kids. I care about my my life. I care about my wife and my friends and, you know, all those other things. There's, stunts is not the only thing. Uh, I also can't do flips. I can't do my – I teach my parkour free running classes. I, I'm talking – I'm explaining things, but I love getting in there and just doing uh, the moves, showing, doing examples, and, and, and spotting the kids, and being a big part of it physically and verbally, and I can't do that either, which is driving me insane, because four days a week I walk into a gym with a uh, trampoline and giant foam pit and mats and things that I love to do too, so it's frustrating, and I want to talk about it and not feel like I'm complaining but just kind of just letting what's in my brain kind of just out there free and uh, to let you guys know what it's like and what I'm going through, especially if you're going through something similar yourself. Uh, also to tell you 100% like I'm in this, um, I'm not just going to keep posting videos of me talking and then that's it. That's all that I'm ever going to do. I will be back and this is just your DVD bonus menu stuff on YouTube. Um, yeah. So, uh, one last thing before I head out of here, uh, I got a, some fan art. Somebody messaged me on Instagram. Uh, let me pull up the, so darkness fang 322 hit me up. She's, uh, she said, I want to, I want to do some, uh, horse art. And then she came up with this picture, sent it over, uh, this nasty, the horse fan art. So I was super psyched about that. Uh, so, of course, if you have an Instagram and you want to head over and like or leave a comment on this photo, Darkness Fang 322, I'd appreciate that. I believe she would appreciate that. Uh, there's also a uh, video of her. Let's see. That's, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. This is her actually doing. She kind of did a uh, screen capture of her making the art, which is really cool. So that's up there. Head over to there. You can head over to Instagram. I'm at Nasty the Horse. I'm also on Facebook as the Horse. I might actually trans transition over to Facebook and start doing my live videos over there. I'll let you guys know for sure. I have uh, tomorrow and oh yeah, tomorrow uh, left for this week. So there's a chance I might decide on Monday to start over on Facebook again, or I might. Um, Regardless, if I go on Facebook on Monday, I'll still post a video on YouTube. I just might make the initial live video on Facebook instead of here on YouTube. Um, it's I'm not even going to get into why. If you want to, two days ago, my last upload before this video, two days ago, I talked about it in depth uh, of why I might switch off of YouTube, but I don't want to get into it now because um, it kind of makes me <laughs> pissed off a little bit uh, getting into it. So... I appreciate you guys so much. Uh, I'm not going to read the comments live, but I am going to go through them. I, I have a computer right up beside me over here with uh, the live feed and everybody that's leaving comments. I'm going to check them out before uh, I close out the window, but I'm going to sign off now, and I'll be back tomorrow 
around 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to go live again, give you guys another update. Hopefully my head, my head's already feeling better actually talking to you guys, I think, getting the blood flowing and getting this positive energy out and just telling you how I feel has made me feel a lot better already. So you guys stay nasty and I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Oh,